yeah, back once again, Trey, with another fish out of water request reaction. I appreciate y'all being here with me, but you know what we're here for, the music. Let's get to it. This definitely takes me back to my childhood. Man, listening to a lot of these pieces of music like this and other classical pieces, the animators and the people who was doing scores in our cartoon era, 80s, 90s, it's like the, the Time and Jerry's, the Looney Tunes, like that era... A lot of great classical pieces was in that era because I'm going back to these images and scenes and it's like, you know what? That was on a cartoon. <laughs> you know, that was in the cartoon package. Not necessarily this, but a form of this. If they would be like in an Italian restaurant and Tom is chasing at the Jerry or, you know, just those type of settings. They would be having these type of pieces playing in the background and not even having the knowledge hearing it and these type of pieces now. It's like it was kind of I wish they would do that to the kids these days. That they too enabling them to their era and not doing like they was doing with us, just kind of putting the medicine in the fun. We are engaged with the cartoon heavily listening to these great classical pieces and not even realizing it. You know what I mean? That's, that's fire. They should do that more often. But this right here, I mean, come on. Beautiful. Love the key work. Love the key work. The key work on this, it really plays fun. It plays fun. Like It's not like a dark chord progression. It's real bright. It's real whimsical. If the, I'm looking for a word, I'm saying whimsical. Fire is is what I like to say. <laughs> 